Hey everyone, it's Shara from Shara's Fashion Nation. And today we actually finish up by sewing the buttons onto the antlers and the face mask. Now, I've already done that with one antler and I have it attached to the hat. You can laugh with me. I think it's funny. Have a good laugh with me. <laughs> Isn't that kind of like funny cute? Because you can not only place it here, you can place it back here, wherever you want. I have double buttons on this for a reason. Because I tried it earlier with just a single button. And it went flop. And nobody likes a floppy reindeer antler. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. So on this one, I have um, one of the buttons on, and then I'm going to sew the other one on. Yes, I did say sew, so it shall be. Um, oh, if you're wondering, Knights Templar. That's our flag. Um, And I'm a member. So anyway, let's just get into this. So I still have some thread, as you can see, on a uh, needle. I like these needles. These are from, oh my gosh, I think the 1950s. And look at that. Look at the condition of this sewing needle from the 1950s, or it could be from the 1960s. Anyway, there's in pristine condition. Um, Rocco from Roaming with Rocco. His Uncle John gave me these sewing needles. Um... Rocco's auntie is no longer physically with us, so. Uh, and his Uncle John didn't know what to do with a lot of her sewing supplies, so. He did let me have some needles, because not a lot of the women in their family uh, hand sew. That's quite the shame, too. Um, Sewing is a trade, is a dying trade. So sewing is a dying trade, you know, doing it by hand. Uh, although there are some of us here on YouTube that are trying to keep it going, like Morgan Dahmer. Oh my gosh, she has something new. Girl, you can pull anything off. Especially that course that you want to do. To pull it off. Oh yeah, she can. She makes um, medieval clothing anyway. So, that was the inspiration for the hat. That I made. So... And she's made corsets, linen, underdress. She she does wonderful work. And most of it's by hand. So, uh, like sewing this by hand. And making sure that it's latched down proper is a dying art. Sorry if I found a sound a little ASMR or a little Bob Ross at the moment. As you all know, I do not have a door to my room. I'd be able to speak up a little more. Um, so yeah. Just gonna go through one more time, just as if you were sewing a button on anything. 
That's how you do this. Just sew it on. So what I'm doing is I'm taking it like this. Taking a point like that. You know, into the yarn. Make sure you get it into a good stiff part of the yarn. And then pull it through. And you, that's because you want to make sure that this can be anchored. And now we can tie this off and we will do the same thing with the mask. And I'm hoping that I don't have to put two buttons on each side of the mask to get it to hold. I doubt that I do. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we have this antler, this is on the right side, and then, yeah, um, getting a little ahead of myself here, um, and then what I did was I took it into, and you would think I would have taken it into these, no, these holes are too big for that. Okay, we're just, I'm just going to demonstrate to you how I do that. Okay, you find a point on the hat, like right here on the side, and you just take it into this stitching where I have my finger going, hello. <laughs> no, this isn't going to be perfect. This is just a demonstration of how you hook this onto the hat. That way the buttons are on the inside. And the hat will still be comfortable to wear. Now, as for the upper part, if you have a button in a specific position, you can pull it through one of those bigger holes because it's already faceted down with the other one. So, just for the point of looking doofy. <laughs> A little more doofy, right? Oh, it didn't fasten too good. Okay. I'll try to pull that up a little into another one of those. See, you gotta practice with this to know which part it's actually going to facet to. Now, a lot of people be like, why do you always use the word facet? Well, it's facetting. And sometimes it's fascinating how we can just take something like this, as simple as it is, and uh, I might just have to take that to the dark green. Ah, these ones are popping out. I don't know why. Huh. I'll try to get that back in there and then I'll be right back. And now you can get an even better laugh. This is funny and it's meant to be hilarious. <laughs> it's not meant to be all fashionable. The hat is meant to be fashionable. The reindeer antlers, those are meant to be funny. <laughs> and uh, quite frankly, the funny works. Yes, indeed, the funny for the reindeer antlers do work. <laughs> oh, I don't mind doing this. Let me use my uh, flashlight on my phone. There you go. It's, it's hilarious, so um, I'm going to go ahead and change the threading to a longer thread because the one I have on there right now is getting a bit short and, well, we need to uh, put the rest of this together and I'll be right back with that. 
Okay, now I have this wreath ready. And I'm not afraid to be real with everybody. And I, you know, if my hair looks a bit funny towards the pre evening, I'm not afraid to show it. Don't be afraid to show it. Keeps you real. Okay, so we're going to just do that on the corner. Bring it around. We're going to do it the same thing that we did on the other one, which is loop it back. Now this is actually going to make this more secured when you go to grab that button. That'll go right down the corner. And then you crisscross these as if you were making a cross. And then bring it through, pull it, hook some of the yarn before you go into the other hall, or hole, the hall other hole with uh, the needle that way it makes it more secure and then you do that again with the last hole to so bring it back towards that and then do that again now we're just securing it On the African behind me, I got that sweet little lady that gave me that sewing foot for the buttonholer, which are very rare to find anymore. And I usually loop three around the end of that and then pull it through. You instantly have a knot. That's why I'm not worried about it. A little sewing humor. Clip that. Now, I left the needle hanging right there, so when I clip the thread away, all I have to do is grab it, pull it, you have one button. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Bring it through a thick area. Don't pull it too tight because you want to take a second one through. Grab your button. And secure it. Remember, when you go through here, you're actually putting the needle through some yarn, stitching and holding it down. Then you do the same thing when you come back through to hook it down again. And hook that down again. And then remember, you bring it back through the other one. This is how we're really securing this down. You guys all see those really thick button or the buttons with like the thick stitch on it. It's basically doing the same thing. Take your needle through just underneath this part of the button your loop 
second part of it, and that's one, two, and three. And that's an instant way to secure your knot. Hold that needle with your yarn. Take your scissor ever so gently where you have the yarn that you just need to clip away, clip it. And now is when I'm just going to put this with the thread. Now this is what I do is I will secure this with the thread, but I have to make sure it's going in the correct direction. There we go. And that's while I'm using this thread. Now, if you notice in the past, thread bobbins like this, or I should say spools, thread spools like this had uh, more thread on it than today's uh, thread spool. Today's thread spool has so much less and costs so much more. It's insane. So, now, now we're going to put this back on and see how we can attach the face mask. I might want to take my glasses off for this part. Take the earbud out. I had the earbud in. I don't know why. Okay. Now, if you're wondering, I have a little dip right here in it so that you know exactly where it goes to the point of the chin. So, again, you're going to have to find that point the small one, bring that through. Now this time the button will be on the outside obviously because it's going over your face. Uh, okay, see we're having that same problem so we're going to have to find a smaller point. And see, at least this teaches you. This is the learning curve of things. Okay, that's through one of the smaller points. Put it over your face. Find one of the small points. Now you can do this with your finger rather easily like I'm doing. Find one of the small stitches, small holes in the stitching. <laughs> there we go. Now we have this. Great. Um, let me see if the glasses go through good. Now, see, that's the other thing is you have to make sure that your glasses fit good. I really don't think that we need to do two buttons with this at all. You may just need to pull it up here a little more if you that's the shape of your face. And then don't forget, we have the reindeer gloves. And ta-da! My glasses went foggy. <laughs> also, depending on the size of your face, this can actually go up one more. I just hooked it here just to show it to you. Um, because I do have this one up a little higher. It actually fits better on the side of the face than having it a little lower, and that actually is looser on the face. It also depends on the size of your face, so. <laughs> there you go, guys. And I might keep this on for a moment. <laughs> Just to be doofy. Or not. Look, because see, now I'm showing you this. And that looks more hilarious. You can pull it down on your chin and keep right here 
warm. Let's say you're in the office. It's a holiday. He got this on. And you need to stay warm. And you know what? You can say you made it yourself. And um, <laughs> you may look a little funny, but who cares? It's for whatever you need it to be for. Um, I would say dream, um, oh, let's say, uh, okay, let's take Halloween, for instance. Like next year when Halloween comes around, you make a pumpkin color hat, kind of in a pumpkin spice, right? <laughs> And you make the little face mask. And it would be all matchy matchy. So I'm glad I could bring you this for my part of the Christmas crochet collaboration with Crochet and Me Too. And uh, yeah, th this has been really fun. Juliet, I can't wait to see like the rest of yours. And then... Um, I have a Christmas dragon to make. It's going to the same person that this is going to. <laughs> That's funny, right? So anyway, guys, I want you to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed, and I will see you in the next one.